UB is leading a major effort in downtown Buffalo. The medical school is building a new $375 million home on the Buffalo Niagara Medical Campus. It's a spectacular 21st century design that brings new opportunities to transform the business of healthcare. And it is being created in a situation such that our students are gonna be at the leading edge of the way we educate medical students and the way we deliver care to the patients that we care about. 26 years ago, Professor Kate Rittenhouse Olson lost her sister Robin to breast cancer, and it's inspired her work ever since. In her UB lab, she's developing a unique monoclonal antibody that targets cancer tumor cells. She believes it could eventually treat 80% of people with breast cancer. We're really excited about our results. First, our antibody blocks metastasis. So it blocks the cancer cells from traveling from the original site of the um, tumor to the lungs, the brain, the bone, and stopping that will stop the deaths due to cancer. Dr. Olson has created a new company named For Robin in memory of her sister. She believes it not only fulfills her personal mission, but the university's as well. Helping us spin off biotech companies is part of its service to the community because they know that our products will help people not only in our community, but throughout the world. And helping us start a company here will help the economics of our area as well. Healthcare is a growing industry in Western New York with new companies and facilities and innovative ways of delivering care. But it's a complicated system with great challenges. Evidence suggests that Americans are paying more for healthcare and getting less than most other developed countries in the world. And that needs to change. For me, making that decision to go healthcare administration full time meant that I had to commit fully, and that involved getting a business degree here at UB. There's a variety of ways in which the School of Management is involved in trying to, to build and hone the skill set of working effectively in this interdisciplinary team based type of environment that healthcare professionals now face. Um, one is we see many more of our students are combining their health science degrees, health professional degrees, with business and management degrees. Stephen English entered medical school with a desire to change people's lives, but he saw firsthand how the bureaucracy of the healthcare system interfered with patient care. So he decided to expand his medical training by pursuing a combined MD-MBA degree. I kind of hit the pause button and I had a chance to step back and look at the system of medical care and, and how we deliver health care. The deans at all the healthcare science schools and the deans up at the management school appreciate that our healthcare professionals need better education. Dr. Philip Glick is a pediatric surgeon with a master's degree in business administration. He's charged with teaching future doctors the critical soft skills they'll need to be successful. Unless you have the proper skill set to work within a team, to lead teams, your patients, their families, and the caregivers for those patients aren't going to do as well. The university believes all these efforts will enhance UB's impact downtown far beyond a new building to a new generation of students trained to become leaders. There is a balance that I, I think I can find where I'm both individually helping people on a one-on-one on one level and at the same time helping shape policies that can really help communities and populations.